Hello friends, new video. Today I will talk about going from being rejected really badly to having massive success in a professional environment. Uh, this is something that happened to me again and again and I have some really cool stories to share. Uh, you might know that I am a multi-Grammy nominated, multi-platinum music producer. I am mostly known for music, but I'm a creator, period. That's, that's what it is. Uh, I used to draw a lot. Uh, I like to code. I just did my first video game six months ago. Um, I worked in finance as well. Uh, and, you know, lots of adventures. I love adventures. It's so fun. Uh, and, of course, you know, you, you run into... Uh, uh, you know, people who are trying to slow you down are actually telling you that uh, you're not good enough, you'll never make it or whatever, you know. So, um, first story I'm going to share is me as a teenager being in the French countryside, slowly getting better at uh, playing jazz piano, classical piano, studying music. And at 19 years old, I decided to apply as a student to the National Superior Conservatory of Paris, which is one of the most prestigious music schools in Europe. So I go to Paris, I go through the thing and got rejected. Didn't even go through the first round of admission. Didn't work out at all. And you know what happened? Seven years later, I got a call to mentor their students. Boom! Situation reversed. I love that. You know? So, that's it. It's all about reversing, um, showing people that they're wrong. You know? That's so wrong. Like, okay, why? You, think, you don't believe in me? Well, I believe in me. So, I will make a, a, a difference and I will make it happen. You know? So, that's a really good story. Um, I have a high respect uh, for, you know, the people at the Conservatory of Paris, but uh, I feel that um, a big problem is that in these institutions, very often, teachers or some of these people are not able to truly see the potential of somebody, even though they might be not really developed or good enough at that time. I think being able to truly see the potential of somebody is much more important than at what they are in their life right now. <clears throat> so it's all about you know being able to read and understand people, and it looks like there's a, a major issue uh, in the education system uh, period. Uh, you know that's why uh, the smartest kids, genius kids, fail. You know fail at first as well because they are not being understood and people are not able to spot that they're special, that different. You know, uh, it's a very known problem. Very, very known. Anyway, that was my first, uh, maybe not my first big failure, actually, because I will talk about another story that happened before that. So, but that's, you know, so yeah, I tried to apply to this like super prestigious music school and they're like, no, you're not good enough. Bye. You know, and they didn't even give an explanation why. I think this is something pretty uh, sad as well. It's like, if if you judge that somebody is not good enough at some something, at least give that person some feedback so that they can work on, uh, you know, what was the issue basically, like, for them. So that's the first story. And you know, a few years later, boom. Hey, you know, uh, really good. Uh, can you come teach <laughs> or mentor or speak? You know. Wow, that's a big change right here, you know? You change. So that's really cool. Uh, that was the first story. Now I will talk about uh, another thing that happened when I was uh, younger as well. <clears throat> I had two teachers that bullied me quite a bit, actually. Um, and one of them was my art teacher, funny enough, right? <laughs> so one day we had to create something uh, about regarding hands. We had to draw hands and do something like, you know, like create something around the idea of hands. So, you know, I was like looking at my hand and like trying to draw some stuff. And the art teacher comes to me, he's like, he's like, oh man, you'll never, you will never be a pianist, you know? It's like, like what, what the hell are you doing, you know? <laughs> a few years later, I have a bunch of Grammy nomination. You know, I worked as a pianist with like big artists, some of the most famous musicians worldwide. It's just hilarious. 
it's just really hilarious, you know. But unfortunately, a lot of people um, really take it personally and and completely shut down their creativity and their goals, you know. And you want to fight that and show the world that absolutely not. I'm highly worth it and I will make it happen and I, and I will work with whoever I want to. And I will put the work to be able to achieve that, you know. So that's another good story. Another story again. Uh, same thing, you know. I was at some point I was getting into hip hop music and stuff, and so many people laughed at me. You have no idea. Hip hop music, the little French guy from the countryside who like like he plays the piano, whatever, you know. Well, guess what? The first person who offered me a deal from the U.S. was the guy who used to run Dr. Dre's society company. <laughs> It's hilarious, right? It's hilarious. And another gig I have, I had, I also mixed songs for the number one independent uh, uh, hip hop label in the U.S. Rostrum Records. Uh, I had the honor and pleasure to work with Benji Greenberg, the president of the label. So this is the label where Mac Miller and and, and uh, Wiz Khalifa was on were on, and. Um, so I did the mixes, and Ben was like, Ben said, he's like, damn, I usually have tons of notes, and I almost have none. So I must have done something decent for that hip hop stuff, right? <laughs> but I'm telling you, a few years ago, so many people laughed at me from like, hip hop? What do you know about hip hop? Like, Come on, look at you, man, you know? Like, go back playing classical jazz music, whatever. Well, I never cared, you know. Uh, if I like something, I'm curious about it, I work on it, I get better, and I understand, you know. And uh, it's, it's just really enjoyable, you know. And when you look back, you're like, it, it actually just shows one thing, is that the people who are trying to break you down, uh, actually, it shows that they have huge personal issues, you know, because there's no point doing that. There's a point to inspire people and to try to uh, inspire them to be better, to work on something, uh, even though they might not be that good at that point. But there's already there's always a potential. So it's all about like inspiring people to be like, okay, you can give a few ideas, you can work on that and get better, you know, slowly, and then things are gonna happen, you know. So. Um, it's just really hilarious. And it, it keeps happening again and again and again. You know, I love adventures, so I'm constantly uh, getting into new uh, fields or like new uh, activities. And of course, at the beginning, I fell. And for some stuff, I fell for years before getting any results. You know, like people don't know that they see all the cool stuff on the walls, but they have no idea how much I study, learn every single day. And, um, and you fail constantly, but it's because you fail that, you know, you analyze the failures and then you are able to succeed. You know, that's it. That's, that's the idea. <clears throat> My last point, so it's not a story, but um, it's very interesting. I personally never applied to a job. Uh, I have a lot of students coming to me, asking me, uh, what should I say when I go to... Uh, a job interview, you know, and my answer is that that's what I say to them. I'm like, you don't want to be the one going to a job interview. You want to be the one being headhunted because of how incredibly good you are and because people know it, you know. So I love to work on stuff so hard that at some point it becomes second nature. And at this point, uh, people are going to talk about it. Because when somebody is good, something is good, you feel something out of that person, of that work, it's just there's something happening, you know? And uh, this way, uh, you're constantly working and people are coming to you constantly because they know that you are incredibly good at what you do, you know? And even though uh, at the beginning people might tell you that uh, it's not for you, you know, I. <laughs> so, uh, so that's it. Uh, for me, um, I've 
constantly been uh, listening to my instinct. I think instinct is the most important thing. I'm not uh, into religion. I'm into uh, listening to myself. My, uh, uh, you know, asking myself, okay, you know, what do I want to do? You know, I think uh, something I talk about a lot as well is that to help you with that, spending time alone is absolutely uh, key because this is when you really uh, get to know yourself and know what you truly want, you know. And this way, you are able to follow your instinct and develop in the most natural way possible. Uh, and that's it. If you work enough on something, I'm telling you, at, sec in, uh, at some point, it becomes second nature and magic. That's when magic stuff happens, you know. But the magic stuff happens because in the real world, you practiced so hard. You, you, you just got into it so hard, you know. And this way... You, you know, uh, whatever I did in finance, music, or technology opportunities, uh, people always came to me. I never had to go to a job interview. Never, never, ever, ever, ever. So, you know, I hope it will make you think. Um, I hope it will show you that uh, you can become really good no matter what people say. You know, even if you start, uh, at, you know, at the very low level, you know, like, you know, you just start a new thing, a new activity, uh, there's no reason for you to not become extremely good at it, you know. And what you can tell yourself is that if people are trying to tell you that, uh, no, it's not for you, it's not going to work out, it actually shows that they have personal issues they need to work on, you know, not you. Uh, if you want to do something, do it. Just that's it. That's all, you know. And by thinking like that, you'll become extremely good and opportunities are going to come to you. People are going to come to you and be like, please work with us. <laughs> that changes everything, right? So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I will keep sharing these uh, cool stories. Um, don't forget to, oops, it's here, subscribe. Oop, uh, here. Um, web, you know where to find me. My website is here. You can join my bunch of followers over here. Uh, once again, when you become really good at what you do, if you communicate about it, you end up with a bunch of followers. You know, that's it. Uh, that's it, guys. Um, uh, you know, like, I'll talk more to you uh, in the next video. Uh, we'll see. I have a few ideas for the next subjects. Um, should be interesting, sharing these stories. All right, have a good day. Talk to you soon. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye.